Medical office assistant, hotel restaurant management, learning the personal computer, electronics, or get your degree. You can measure in business management or accounting. ICS gives you everything you need, so call right now. Call now for the free information Jackie Zeman spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better career. Call 1-800-247-8500. That's 1-800-247-8500. forecasts you can always turn to and when you're away from your television the weather channel forecast is also available from the following some of you may be heading for the beach or doing a little boating or fishing today maybe to beat the heat in the northeast but we have some rough weather conditions moving uh, through the new england and new york state area and pushing offshore here's what i mean let's go to radar if you plan some boating on Long Island Sound, you better wait an hour or two because intense thunderstorms are moving uh, southward from the Connecticut coastline into Long Island Sound with gusty winds, uh, choppy seas, no doubt about that, and frequent cloud-to-sea lightning. Another intense cell here in Westchester County heading uh, southeastward and more strong storm uh, thunderstorms near Narragansett Bay and Boston Harbor. So it could be rough out in the New England coastal waters for the next hour or two, and then things will probably settle down later on today. Well, if you're heading to uh, Atlantic City to cool yourself down, the surf temperature is 74. It's 80 now at Virginia Beach and 57 in the lake at the lakefront of Chicago. That's the Lake Michigan water temperature. 80s on the beaches around Florida, westward to Texas, and of course, cool water in the west. Rice Krispie Treats? Melba made them. Melba made them? She's a hard-working gal. Took her 10 minutes. Said they were low-fat. Low-fat? Mm -hmm. When do you care about fat? How do you think I keep my girlish figure? Kellogg's Rice Krispie <laughs> Treats? What other cereal sounds so good? For a limited time, Kellogg's Kaleido Krispies put some fun in their mouth. Don't let the weather jeopardize your plans for success. Tune in to the five-day business plan following your local forecast right here on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next only on the Weather Channel.
talking about the heat wave right smack in the nation's midsection. But we're here to tell you that the heat wave has started to shift east. We've had record heat across the Midwest into the Northeast yesterday. And I do think that today will be another record-breaking one as we anticipate more 100 from New York to Philadelphia and even around the nation's capital. Big dome of high pressure still responsible for all the heat can pretty much still find it right here, centered over a good part of the uh, Atlantic. And actually, we have the clockwise winds around that broad high pressure system, and it's just been bringing in a lot of tropical air, and that tropical air has enveloped a good part of the mid-Atlantic coast, the Mississippi River Valley, much of the southeast. But you can see basically around the high pressure system is where we have most of the active weather. Oh, it's been pretty much the same scenario the last week or so, even though the ridge of high pressure itself has started to move off to the east. So that's why we're bringing in some rain showers in the nation's midsection and cooling it down a little bit over the northern plains. And as we go through time, we think the surface front will continue to move off to the east, and it will provide some relief from the heat over the Mississippi River Valley and even the northeast over the next 48 hours. So there is relief. Uh, a little light as you look down the tunnel. We do have some thunder showers though this morning from the panhandle of Texas into central Kansas. Some thunderstorms in southern Minnesota and developing over Iowa. But the stronger storms have been pushing through southern New England this morning. Now we've had reports of winds gusting up to some 75 miles an hour. Now you know that's about uh, hurricane force winds when you get up to uh, winds that high. We've had reports of power outages because uh, the strong winds have been blowing down trees, the trees falling on the power lines. Thus, the power outages have been widespread across a good part of western Massachusetts and southern New York. We still have some moderately heavy rains pushing through the southern parts of New Hampshire this morning. And notice a line of thunderstorms pushed right through Providence, Rhode Island, Boston. You've had some thunderstorms to move through. And actually, that's kind of a temporary relief from the heat in the Boston area. Of course, we were looking for perhaps some rain showers to give us relief from the heat, but I think Mother Nature has just outdone herself this morning with these uh, very potent storms and very gusty winds. Now, we have severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Suffolk County, the eastern parts of Long Island. This is Suffolk County here. If you have travel plans uh, east along the Long Island Expressway, then you want to be careful as you will encounter blinding rains and again winds still associated with these storms in excess of 30 and 40 miles an hour. So very dangerous as they quickly move off to the southeast at about 30 to 35 miles an hour. Because they've been moving so quickly, we haven't had uh, much in the way of heavy rains, but again, the major threat with the storms as they move through southeastern New England this morning has been the very gusty winds. Severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect for the eastern parts of Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, and extreme southeast New Hampshire and down east Maine. Here's the current scenario. High pressure centered at the surface over the southeast. And again, it's the clockwise flow with this high pressure that has brought kind of the ring of fire, as we talk about here at the Weather Channel, with scattered showers and storms along the surface cold front. Now, I do I do think that right over a plate of Bisquick pancakes. Watch international weather now 42 minutes after every hour. Only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Well, a typical summer day in store for the sunshine state of Florida. So let's go right to the satellite view. We already noticed some thunder showers near the Keys. They'll be popping up and heading west northwest into the Gulf of Mexico. Over the rest of the state, we have partly sunny conditions now. The humidity is pretty high, typical levels for early summer, and that means that the popcorn thunderstorms will refire this afternoon. You may or may not have a thunderstorm. That's just the, uh, the scenario this time of the year, and daytime highs will be mostly in the upper 80s to mid 90s. Chantal has shown some slight strengthening in the last uh, 12 hours or so. Maximum sustained winds are about 50 miles an hour, still though about 1,000 miles east-southeast of Miami, moving very slowly towards the northwest at about 5 or 6 miles an hour. We're going to keep, uh, keep an eye on Chantal for you, of course. Surf temperatures range from 80 to the mid-80s, and air temperatures later today will range from near 90 to the mid-90s at Fort Myers. Weather scope coming your way in just a moment. 
for a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Watch Weather Scope coming up after your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Chantal continues to spin northwest of Puerto Rico while parts of the central U.S. are cooling down. The heat wave is moving to the east coast while the west coast gets picture-perfect conditions. All of this up next on WeatherScope this morning. For a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else, this is WeatherScope this morning. You have tuned to the Weather Channel, and one of our number one weather stories this morning is the heat wave. We had several records yesterday, well, almost a dozen. Several big cities got up to 100 degrees or more yesterday. Good morning. I'm Vivian Brown. And good morning. I'm Rick Griffin. That's right. All the way from Chicago to Boston mm -hmm. yesterday. And you know right now in Newark, New Jersey, the temperature is 94. The dew point is 80. The, so the heat index is 109 degrees already. Boy, do we have some oppressive heat to tell you about. We have some other head, uh, weather headlines uh, for you as well. Tropical Storm Chantal shows a little bit of strengthening in the South Atlantic. Uh, north of Puerto Rico, we'll show you what's going on. And we've had some very intense thunderstorms racing across New York State. Let's see what's happening now as we go to the satellite. This is, by the way, our enhanced satellite view. And the darker the red you see, the colder the cloud tops are and the higher they extend into the atmosphere. In other words, when we had those very strong and damaging winds earlier this morning near Watertown, you can see some very cold cloud tops. And as these storms uh, push through eastern New York, the Albany County Airport had a wind gust to 77 miles per hour. Now, notice at this time more of an orange coloration. That indicates the cloud tops are warming, thus the storms in this particular case are weakening pretty rapidly. In fact, uh, right now there are just isolated strong storms near Long Island Sound. The, the rest of this area right here is just basically light to moderate rain over the Connecticut Valley in Massachusetts and up into the Merrimack Valley region. Some light rain at uh, Portsmouth and Concord. Some of the heavier storms now, you can see moving east of uh, Boston Harbor, north of the tip of Cape Cod. We've had some strong storms moving through Bristol, Connecticut, uh, Bristol County in Massachusetts and some very uh, strong activity coming across Long Island Sound onto Long Island itself. So right around Islip, we have some strong thunderstorms. By the way, the thunderstorm in uh, Putnam and Westchester counties right here has weakened rapidly over the last 45 minutes or so. 
Looks like New York City, you're going to escape any significant rain. So the heat is building. I mentioned Newark, New Jersey. Already the heat indices is approaching 110 degrees. Not even noon yet, so it's going to be a miserably hot day. Hopefully you'll get some thunderstorms to cool you down later. We have some garden variety thunder showers near Houston and Lake Charles and near the front in the nation's midsection. Showers stretch from Oklahoma to Iowa. Back to the tropics. Chantal hasn't moved a great deal since yesterday. The center of circulation about 300 miles north-northwest of San Juan. 22.6, uh, 67 west is the position. Satellite in motion shows convection. As it goes into motion, the convection or thunderstorms trying to wrap around the center of circulation. Slow strengthening is expected as Chantal drifts to the northwest. Now more about the heat wave. Here's Vivian. Okay, and talk about the heat wave. Again, we've had, oh, a dozen record highs set yesterday from the Midwest to the Northeast. And much of the same can be expected today. The heat will be relentless, at least for the next 24 hours. These are scenes of Chicago yesterday. We were doing anything we could possibly do to stay cool, taking a dip in the pool or even uh, relief from the heat with uh, some of the water from the fire hydrant. I'll tell you, whatever you did yesterday to beat the heat, Chicagoans, you want to do the very same thing again today. Oh, I don't think it'll be as hot, but uh, nearly as hot for sure. Yesterday, you know, was a record. We tied 100 degrees. Even South Bend, Indiana, the hottest it's ever been 100 degrees. And Flint, Michigan, since we've been taking records, it hasn't been as hot as 101. Boston, again, yesterday, 100 degrees. Even Binghamton in New York with 93. Here's a look at the afternoon highs we had yesterday, and triple-digit heat could be found from Omaha to Chicago, again, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Take a look at this. In Las Vegas, it was 102, and the same in Green Bay, so you put it in perspective. You talk about the deserts of the southwest here, and Green Bay, Wisconsin, it shouldn't be this hot. If you're visiting Chicago, you're visiting New York, you're visiting Boston, then on behalf of all the natives, I want you to know that it's not always this muggy in these areas. Temperatures right now, look at Boston, 86, 89 in New York, and 85 in Chicago. But as Rick mentioned, you factor in the humidity levels, dew points this morning in the middle 70s. That indicates how much moisture is available in the atmosphere. And the two combined, it feels more or less like 107 degrees in Philadelphia and 104 in New York. It is oppressively hot and humid across much of New England. Look at the heat index in Chicago, 92 and the same in St. Louis, but get some relief though across the Western High Plains behind this uh, surface frontal boundary. But out ahead of it, again, the heat is widespread, 90s everywhere, 100s, many of the big cities. Again today, New York, Philadelphia, 102, and we're forecasting 102 in a nation's capital. So you're back in the danger zone, Slow it down, reduce your level of activity, either work or play, you don't want to overdo it. Get into the air conditioning as much as possible, and don't expose yourself to too much sun today. Rick? Well, I'll tell you one area that won't be quite as hot today is parts of the Western Great Lakes, such as around Green Bay, Madison, Wisconsin, Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha, Nebraska. You've seen the worst of it, and showers and thunderstorms near that front will keep you cool in comparison today. Popcorn storms near the Gulf Coast, too, uh, while in the west, we see a pretty uh, hot day in the Central Valley of California and a pleasant day in the Pacific Northwest around Seattle and Portland. Back to the rainfall. The greatest rain, we think, over the next 20 hours or so will be from the front range of the Rockies in New Mexico and southeast Colorado due to an upslope flow there to along the front up to close to Milwaukee and into northern lower Michigan and in parts of the northeast, a pretty heavy rainfall, as well as southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. The center of the heat wave today, the mid-Atlantic region, uh, as we mentioned, the heat indices are already approaching 110, and it's not even noon yet, so it's just plain miserable out there. That's right. So if you talk about being that hot and humid this morning, you know what to expect by the afternoon. Stay with us, because there is relief from the heat next week. We'll have a look at your forecast coming up in just a moment. Is your child protected for the future? Gerber, the baby people you've known since you were an infant, offers you a way to help with that protection through their grow-up plan for children. It's a $5,000 cash value insurance program that costs less than 11 cents a day. At age 21, that protection doubles to $10,000 with absolutely no increase in premiums. In addition to automatically doubling at age 21, 
The plan also guarantees the right to $50,000 of insurance by age 28, regardless of health or occupation. So call now for your free information package. Any child under 13 years of age is eligible. No medical examination is necessary. Simply answer a few questions. As a special feature, your first month's premium is $1. The Gerber Life Grow Up Plan. To show you care, call now 1-800-543-7500. The information package is free. There is no obligation. This offer is available to parents and grandparents only. That number again is 1-800-543-7500. 1-800-543-7500. For the conditions and temperatures across Europe, watch International Weather, coming up right after your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Slick 50 fuel system formula. Ten times more powerful than the leading fuel treatment, Slick 50 cleans the entire fuel system. You'll feel the difference guaranteed. Ask for Slick 50 fuel system formula. More power to you. Slick 50 fuel system formula can be found at the following fine retailers. The folks in Glastonbury, Connecticut, Cat's Ace Hardware is the place to get just what you need. And at your local Ace, you'll find a salute to savings. Great values to give your summer a lift. That's Ace, the place for the helpful hardware folks. An egg, a little bisquick, some milk. On a Sunday morning, it adds up to a lot more than pancakes. Watch the Sea Dew Boating Forecast only on the Weather Channel. If weather forecasts are important to you or someone you know, then you'll love the Weather Channel's new Weather Forecast phone calling card. It's like having your own personal weather forecast in 600 U.S. cities plus 225 special worldwide forecasts anytime, 24 hours per day. You can call from any touchstone phone, even in hotels and airports, anywhere in the U.S. And it's sponsored by AT&T, so you know it's great. If you order now for this special introductory offer, you will get 30 prepaid minutes on your weather calling card for only $19. That's an $8.55 savings, like getting nine free minutes. After your first 30 minutes, it's only 95 cents per minute for additional weather forecast calls. It's a great gift for business travelers, photographers, engineers, truck drivers, vacationers, anyone who needs to get an accurate weather forecast quickly, anytime. Call 1-800-652-4500 now with your credit card ready to order your weather forecast calling card. That's 1-800-652-4500. Call now. It is time now for International Weather, which is sponsored by the Travel Channel. Let's check on the forecast for Europe as we cross over the big pond at the northern Atlantic. A couple of systems traversing across the continent. Tomorrow, the first one will slide across the southern parts of the Scandinavian country and the Denmark Peninsula here, eventually pushing into the Ukraine and scattering some rain showers with it slightly cooler air behind this surface front. And then we have a weaker trough of low pressure sliding across the British Isles with scattered rain showers, say, around London and Ireland tomorrow. Temperatures are forecast in the 50s and 60s with showery conditions over the British Isles, but there is the broad 70s over the mainland of Europe, a little farther south, and you'll run into 80s and even some 90s in Spain. London, showers tomorrow near 70 degrees for the afternoon high, partly cloudy in Madrid, low 90s, and past Paris, partly cloudy with mid-70s. 
Well, stay with us. We'll go back across the Atlantic and check on the forecast. We have the tropics coming up for you next. When you watch the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after the hour, you get an extended outlook with the five-day business planner. At 42 minutes after the hour, get the temperatures and conditions across Europe with international weather. At 55 minutes after the hour, find out how the weather will affect your drive with a Michelin Driver's Report. And no matter when you tune in, you're never more than minutes away from your local forecast. The Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. Have you ever felt like men and women are from two different planets? Then get ready to order this video. If a woman's in a bad mood, the secret to helping her get in a good mood is getting her to talk. If you can get her to talk, the more she talks about what she's feeling, the more her feelings will change. John Gray is the author of the bestseller, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. It's been published in 19 different languages and sold over 1 million copies. If you want to understand the differences between men and women, order Dr. John Gray's entertaining seminar. Available now for the first time on video. A $34.95 value, it's yours for only $19.95. When men talk, it's basically one reason to convey information to create a result. Dr. Gray's uh, tools, exercises are just immediately useful. When women need emotional support, they give us signals. They're very clear to other women, but we men misinterpret them. Our communication is just so much better. It's the answer that I was looking for. Order right now. the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Working toward the weekend? Watch the Weekend Outlook to find out what the temperatures will be and if there's a chance of rain only on the Weather Channel. We love to travel. And we travel from city to city. My husband drives a little Dodge Coach, and I drive a Suburban with the RV behind it. And wherever we go, we find a Walmart. It's where I always save money. That's the reason we buy our sunshades here. The Max Reflector sunshade is double thick and double sided. I have them in the car, and I have them in the RV, and it keeps it cool. This is the Magic Shade sunshade. You pop them in your windshield when you park. And it works well to keep the heat out. I'm glad I came to Walmart today. If your car isn't performing like it used to, put back the power with Slick 50 Fuel System Formula. Ten times more powerful than the leading fuel treatment, Slick 50 cleans the entire fuel system. You'll feel the difference guaranteed. Ask for Slick 50 Fuel System Formula. More power to you. Slick 50 Fuel System Formula can be found at the following fine retailers. And thanks a lot for making the Weather Channel part of your Saturday. It's time for the tropical update. Before we get to the uh, details, the tropics is one of our headlines, certainly with Tropical Storm Chantal and Hurricane Barbara. Uh, but once again, uh, other headlines include uh, oppressive heat today. I'll talk more about that in a second. And we also have had a pretty good line of thunderstorms rumbling through the northeast earlier this morning. For instance, with those thunderstorms, a wind gust of 77 miles per hour at the Albany County Airport and lots of damage, unfortunately, in uh, Pittsfield County, Berkshire County, I should say, in western Massachusetts. Let's begin with the tropics. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Chantal. If you continue to follow the storm along with us, the latest coordinates are 22.6 north, 67 west. That puts the center of circulation about 300 miles north, northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico, or roughly 1,000 miles east southeast of Miami, Florida. The storm is moving northwest at 6, and the pressure has changed little since the last report. 
1,006 millibars as estimated by the weather reconnaissance aircraft that has been in the system this morning. By the way, the C-130, the Hurricane Hunter aircraft, noted that uh, there was a 51-knot uh, wind gust on the east side of the storm in a squall. So the squally winds are considerably uh, higher than the maximum sustained winds, which are now at about 50 miles per hour. Uh, some interesting notes on Chantel. Well, one thing we do not see that would indicate rapid strengthening. We do not see uh, impressive convection or thunderstorm activity right where the center of circulation is located. That would be a favorable scenario, indicating that uh, Chantal was over increasingly favorable uh, warm surface waters and favorable conditions aloft. We do not see that. We do see convection trying to wrap around the center of circulation, however, and that would suggest that there is slow strengthening underway, and that is uh, suggested by the wind speed, which has increased from 40 to 50 miles per hour, maximum sustained winds. The pressure earlier this morning fell a little bit, and again, we can expect perhaps that scenario to continue. This is a climatologically favored area for tropical storm development this time of the year. We have warm surface water conditions, and it would appear that the shear, the southwest shear that was in the vicinity of this storm yesterday that was pushing the convection well to the east of the center has let up a little bit. That would be another favorable scenario for continued uh, development. The long-term track is the question mark. We have a couple of different computer progs. The Hurricane Center does. They had tell different stories, basically. A couple suggest that it may continue its northwest track and affect the southeast United States, but there are other hurricane uh, programs that suggest eventually Chantal will take a northerly track and stay out in the Atlantic Ocean. But as you know, tropical systems uh, don't always do what they are expected to do, so the best thing for you is to stay tuned. Right now, of course, it is far away from any important uh, land areas and just drifting off to the northwest at only about five or six miles per hour. Here's a wider view. This is Chantal. This is Puerto Rico. Of course, Florida up here, the Caribbean. By the way, the ITCZ is pretty active out here. Look at these clusters of thunderstorms. We can't pick out any one system that is organizing, though, and the system in the Atlantic, uh, east of Chantal, looks impressive, but it's a little far north and maybe caught up in the westerlies pretty soon. And then there's Hurricane Barbara in the Pacific. Barbara's actually weakened. It has moved into an area where surface water temperatures are cooler than it was than the situation yesterday. So maximum sustained winds have diminished from 140 to about an even 100 miles per hour. Barbara continues to drift west, and of course it is well east of the big island of Hawaii. Back to the lower 48, here's another weather story today. The heat is building already in the Northeast. It is 95 degrees or 94 degrees in Newark, New Jersey right now. The dew point is about 80. That puts the heat indices in Newark already, not even noon yet, 109 degrees. That's how it, that's how it feels to you with that combination of heat and humidity. Look at New York City, heat index already 104, 97 in DC, 90 degrees in Boston and some pretty hot heat index readings as we head into the south, but more typical summer heat in the south today as compared to the mid-Atlantic and parts of southeast New York, eastern Pennsylvania, which are just going to bake today. Dangerous heat conditions. Philadelphia, D.C., New York, uh, head to Atlantic City or Ocean City to cool off. The Ohio Valley will be oppressively hot and humid today, too. It's all on the backside of the Bermuda High, which continues to pump up the heat and humidity. Some of you will have cooling thunderstorms. The best chance is near the Gulf Coast and close to this front as it meanders through the Great Lakes uh, through the day on Sunday. Uh, by the way, on Sunday, some cooling and drying in the Northeast, Boston and New York, and eventually some cooler weather headed for Chicago. Travel trouble spots, next. It set the standard in do-it-yourself books, but now we've made the best even better. Introducing the all-new Home Repair and Improvement Series from Time Life Books. With new color illustrations, step-by-step -step instructions, and a new spiral binding so books lay flat, it's never been easier to save money and create the home you've always wanted. You'll learn how to build a deck your family will enjoy for years. The tricks of the trade to install a new patio. Call now to examine decks, porches, and patios free for 15 days. Keep it for the special low TV price of just $1.99. Use your credit card and get this Stanley tape measure absolutely free. Other volumes will follow. Keep only those you want. The new home repair and improvement series from Time Life Books. We've made the best even better. Call 1-800-562-4747 now to get decks, porches, and patios for just $1.99. That's 1-800-562-4747.
Friday morning. You can spend them catching up on your sleep or catching up with your kids over a plate of Bisquick pancakes. Find out the conditions before you get on the road. Watch the Michelin Driver's Report, following your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. isn't performing like it used to, put back the power with Slick 50 fuel system formula. Ten times more powerful than the leading fuel treatment, Slick 50 cleans the entire fuel system. You'll feel the difference guaranteed. Ask for Slick 50 fuel system formula. More power to you. Slick 50 fuel system formula can be found at the following fine retailers. Select the latest forecast for your international destination. Choose from these and many other major European cities. 95 cents a minute, 1, 900 weather. And now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. We've kind of shifted our Michelin travel trouble spot a little farther west so far this morning because we have a surface frontal boundary developing right in this area. And it is along that front that we'll look for the vocal point for more scattered showers and thunderstorms. So anywhere from Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, and Des Moines, anticipate some rain showers, maybe some thunder showers that can reach severe limits. So we're definitely going to have to watch this area for you and we're watching a weak uh, trough of low pressure swinging out of Canada into the western high plains cannot rule out the threat of some strong to severe storms. I had some severe storms moving through New England this morning and a line of storms brought very very gusty winds. I'm talking winds in excess of 70 miles an hour. You can see that the intensity and the overall coverage of these storms started to decrease as they quickly move out to the southeast at about 35 to 40 miles an hour. And we've kind of trimmed away the severe thunderstorm watch that we had in effect, but still it's for the eastern parts of Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Kind of windy over northern Maine and along the coast of Oregon today. It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance. In the rain, in the snow, it even saves gas. And now through July 31st, the tire engineered to take the world's finest luxury performance touring sedans through just about any weather helps you predict it. With this Oregon scientific weather forecasting station, free when you buy a set of four MXV4 tires, Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSE technology. It's science that goes beyond magic. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. For a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else, watch WeatherScope coming up after your local forecast only on the Weather Channel. 
For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Chantal continues to spin northwest of Puerto Rico while parts of the central U.S. are cooling down. The heat wave is moving to the east while the west coast gets picture-perfect weather. All of this up next on Weatherscope This Morning. For a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else, this is Weatherscope This Morning. and thanks for joining us. I'm Marnie Stanier and this is Jim Cantori. And we just checked the computer and it's official. The current heat index at Islip, Long Island? 109 degrees. Unbelievable. So much for the morning jog this morning, oh. <laughs> unless you did it earlier. 10 o'clock in the morning, it's already that hot. Be careful out there, folks. Yeah, do, because that heat wave has built east mm -hmm. for the weekend. Uh, big time story this morning with a severe weather event in New England, right. Marnie. We mm -hmm. had tremendous wind damage in western New England, eastern New York. And that's what we're going to look at. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's take a look at it this morning as we go out and uh, show you this big bomb that kind of blew up in southern Ontario and just scooted across New England. Folks, uh, I'll tell you right now, this is something you haven't seen in a long time in New England, just a huge thunderstorm complex like this that has caused widespread wind uh, damage and power outages all the way from Rochester and Syracuse into the Capital District, across toward the Connecticut River, and including southern Vermont. Then we saw the system weaken just a little bit as it moved through Worcester County, but then it blew up again down around Newport. There were some strong storms, Foxborough, Groton, Connecticut, and even one moved right down through Westchester County, and those cells are now heading across uh, Long Island. We'll show you those on radar in just a moment. Still some beneficial rain, no wind damage up and through here, but some, some thunderstorm activity going through Portland and Sebago Lake. This is all heading toward the seacoast and out at about 25 to 45 miles an hour. We still have some storms going on down the south of Long Island now, but I want you to see how quickly these ripped across. This is the uh, Doppler radar site across Long Island and move right through the North Shore and out through Suffolk County, just like that. To the west is where we're talking about all that heat through Nassau County and into downtown New York, feeling like 110 right now when you factor in the temperature and the moisture content of the air. Here's the 5 a.m. advisory on Chantel. We're going to talk more about this in just a moment. Thanks, Jim. The scorching heat wave continues to roast a large area of the country, especially the east. In Washington, D.C., you could actually see the heat rise from crowded streets. This left tourists looking for some relief from the heat under a shady tree whenever possible. The heat index was in the danger zone yesterday. It hit 108. And guess what? Conditions remain the same today. 
We just told you the bad news in New York City. One reporting station, Islip, Long Island at 1.09, and it is 10 o'clock in the morning. Unbelievable heat. Stay inside if you can. Stay in the air conditioning. If you don't have AC, you need to get that fan going. A couple of fans to keep ventilation rolling because I'll tell you what, this is dangerously hot weather. 89 now in New York City, 88 in D.C. But of course, when you factor in the high humidity levels, it feels more like 104 at LaGuardia. Islip, Long Island, 109. Unbelievable heat. Yesterday, a lot of record-breaking temperatures, triple digits all over the place. Chicago, 100. That tied a record, by golly. There it is. You see it. Flint, Michigan, 101. Also an all-time record. Green Bay, 100 degrees. The list continues mid to upper 90s for folks who usually are not in the 90s at this time during the year. The heat will continue today. As a matter of fact, many major cities are in the danger area. A heat warning is in effect in Philly and around Baltimore and D.C. So slow it down, reduce your level of activity, and wear lightweight, light-colored clothing. Drink a lot of water, and remember, kids uh, are oblivious to this type of weather. They'll just go outside and play and have a good time. Parents, you need to be responsible and make sure that you limit the amount of time that they're outside. Have a big jug of water outside for them in a thermos or something uh, so they can drink that throughout the day and um, stay nice and cool if possible. Use that AC, and again, if you don't have it, use a fan. Check on the elderly and care for the pets. Don't forget about Rover. In the east, again, temperatures well over 100 degrees, but we do think some relief is in sight. This system is going to slide on through, and it will bring some cooling conditions. It still will be hot, but a return to a little better weather coming up. Jim? All right. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, just got a couple of the severe weather reports in, Marnie, from uh, Warren County, New York. Two possible fatalities from this morning's severe weather event. So that is not good news. Marnie's going to talk about the forecast in just a moment. Let's go to Chantal. That is uh, another one of our stories that we are watching. Again, the 5 a.m. advisory, 22 Point six north, 67 west. That's the 5 a.m. advisory. Reconnaissance has been out there. They still found a central pressure of about 1,006. They've also found wind gusts in the eastern quadrant of this thing at about 51 knots, which is about 58 miles an hour. So, I mean, this thing's cranking. It could be slowly strengthening right now. And we were discussing this this morning. Matt Crowther and I were saying, boy, you know, this thing kind of got absorbed in that upper air low a little bit. It may not be exactly purely tropical right now, so we're not seeing any rapid intensification. But everything points to an intensifying system, and we think that this could become a hurricane in time, so we're just going to have to be patient with it. It's moving slow enough, so it obviously warrants uh, much interest along the eastern seaboard. And the discrepancies, I can't even list these discrepancies in the computer models. They take this thing in all different directions. So again, tremendous uncertainties exist at this time. Here's a look at the viz this morning. You can, of course, see the uh, eye, the center of the system uh, developing in through here, but look at the deeper convection on the northern side and the eastern side. Remember yesterday a lot of the feeder bands were coming up well east of the center? Well, look at this. Look at the feeder bands coming in toward the center this morning. Again, only a matter of time uh, for this thing to develop as it looks like it's even moving more westerly than uh, northwesterly, but a very slow movement is uh, continuing with this. As far as where it goes from there, well, the big ridge sitting over the east would definitely point to a westward movement but if this stays very, very slow and moving, there will eventually be on the computer models a trough coming down, which could lift it on out. So it's really a race to see what gets to the East Coast first, Chantal or possibly the trough of low pressure. Stay tuned. Well, Jim, today, of course, is going to be very, very hot, but some folks will notice some relief by tomorrow. Yes, back to the 80s in uh, hopefully New York City, definitely Boston. It depends on how uh, far south the frontal boundary works, and it is eventually going to stall out. And if you're south of it, you'll be hot. D.C., Richmond, this means you. But north of it, a little better weather. How about some 70s in parts of New England? Good chance for more scattered showers and thunder showers along the front that's going to slide to the east. You'll see some rain on Monday. That's fine in the northeast. You need the rain. You just don't need severe weather. And uh, we are getting some new reports. They're coming across the wires right now that we've had reports of fatalities with those severe storms that rolled through this morning. So, again, they really do need rain in New England, yeah. but they don't want the severe weather. No, it is real. I'm telling you, this is, this mm. is, uh, you're going to get some video in that right. you're not going to believe here in time. Trust me on that. Mm -hmm. Berkshire County, Massachusetts, widespread power outages and tree damage. Uh, and they had a tornado earlier this right. year. They had a tornado moved to Berkshire County. Mm -hmm. So big problems up there in the Commonwealth of Mass. We'll keep an eye on it.
Fields and Gardens Real Estate goes to work on an open house. Expect it to be closed. Don't miss your new home. Visit a Better Homes and Gardens open house this weekend. Ever notice what some people put in their Ziploc and only Ziploc brand freezer bags? Dinner for the boss. The new record! First day for Mr. Daredevil. Seems a lot of people put important stuff only in freezer bags from Ziploc. That's because we put in tough, super thick plastic. Whoa! And the only zipper with tough, gripping teeth you can feel closing to lock out freezer burn in five perfect sizes. Our wedding day. Ziploc, it's all you need. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour. Only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. this commercial. I want to know more about Rogaine. Rogaine with minoxidil? Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just call this number now for a free information kit on Rogaine topical solution. It could help answer your questions because it's filled with all kinds of facts about Rogaine. And because you need a prescription to get Rogaine, we'll send you a list of local doctors and special money-saving offers to help you decide if Rogaine is right for you. But I want to know right now. We'll mail it to you today. So what are you waiting for? Call now for your free information kit. Call 1-800-338-4443. All right, time to check out uh, our radar update here. The national radar showing the showers and the thunderstorms winding down in the northeast. Uh, another area of storms firing up across northern Iowa this morning, back toward Valentine, Nebraska, even here from Houston to Lake Charles, some storms. And as usual, off the Grand Strand and around the periphery of Florida, our storms are firing. I want to show you the satellite loop here, and it is around this high-pressure system, which is now starting to break down a little bit that we continue to see these phenomenal storms. Now, Watch uh, some of this energy that happened yesterday morning around Duluth. Just kind of traveling, all of a sudden, boom, we get a new thunderstorm complex this morning with some of that same energy. So we could uh, almost forecast that from what happened yesterday morning around Minnesota. But boy, I'll tell you, tremendous amounts of severe weather moving through New England this morning, especially from about Rome down to Albany, up toward Fort Ticonderoga and toward Brattleboro, Vermont, even possibly two fatalities in Warren County, New York. And then the storms uh, thanking us weekend as they head to the east of Worcester and Hartford. But there's uh, still some problems down around Newport, Rhode Island. Stay with us. Not only will we check out some radars for you, but we will also see how the next five days shape up with this major heat wave in the U.S. Do you have anything good in here? How about chips? Those are the ones with the little candies, right? Uh-uh. 
Are they any good? Try some. Kids like kicks even if it isn't sweet like candy. And moms like kicks because it's low in sugar. <laughs> <laughs> mm, these are really good. Yeah, but they're easier to eat at home. <laughs> Kicks, kid tested, mother approved. Weather information you need whenever you need it. Just like the local forecast you see when you watch the Weather Channel on cable. Call the Weather Channel Connection. Good morning. It's now 13 past the hour, and it's time now for a radar update. We've been keeping a very close eye on that radar from the northeast throughout the morning, and we now have some storms building over parts of uh, Wisconsin as well. We'll get to those in a minute, but these storms just raced off to the southeast, and uh, we did have reports of quite a bit of damage. Things are much quieter now, but earlier in parts of Pennsylvania, Connecticut, southeastern New York State, trees were uh, knocked down, power lines uh, were blown off, uh, bl blown out. Um, a lot of reports of problems and two possible fatalities, too. Rain showers and storms are rolling into the Gulf Coast region now, New Orleans, Tahoma, and Atchafalaya Bay. We're not going to rule out an isolated thunder shower or two. They'll be rolling in from the Gulf around that easterly wave. Other reports of rain across the U.S. We find some rain in southeastern South Dakota, parts of Iowa, and Minnesota. These storms are moving northeast. Well, stay tuned because coming up in a minute, we'll check in on the next five days. A lot of folks will start to see some relief from the hot weather. We'll check in on the weather maps in motion coming up next. For West Coast info to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update. Only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. When it comes to the music of the 90s, anything goes. Music today is everywhere. No need to label it. If it's good, we'll play it. That's why we got Living Coolest Songs on two CDs and two cassettes. Check it out. If you're watching us from, say, Florida, Georgia, or the Carolinas, this is the current position of the storm. It's about 300 miles north northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico. It has winds to 50 miles per hour, and it continues to move northwest at 6 miles per hour. So, again, that's a big focus in the tropics, one of our bigger stories of the day. It's something we will continue to monitor. Otherwise, across the U.S., high pressure, hot weather, unbearable heat. Right now, outside in New York City, the heat index is right very close to 110. And what time is it? 10.20 in the morning. You can't even get out for a morning jog in that kind of weather. This is dangerous. It's very, very hot. Heat indices well above 115, even close to 120 today. So, again, high pressure, hot weather. The heat wave continues. And around that big area of high pressure, we have what we call a ring of fire. You can see the highest right here. And around that, we have all kinds of very strong storms. They have been severe this morning in the northeast. Uh, I'll tell you what, in Warren County, right back here, around Lake Luzerne, apparently a couple of fatalities occurred this morning. A lot of reports of trees down, power outages. That's just one example, one county. There are numerous counties here reporting all kinds of damage. A lot of trees down, power outages. Uh, trees knocked down completely. I mean, this is almost like a hurricane over land, if you can imagine. Things are quieter now. The storms have rolled through. You're fine now in Hartford and New York City. But I'll tell you what, as the morning goes along, I think we'll continue to get more damage reports. And uh, it's, it's not going to be a pretty sight, I'll just say that much. We'll continue to watch that. Again, back to our maps. We'll talk about a little bit of a cooling trend. How about that? This system is going to drop to the south. And if you live north of it, you look great. South of it, though, it is going to stay very hot, very humid. A heat warning is in effect in D.C. and around Philly and Baltimore. Uh, you just can't get out in this kind of weather and overdo it. You can't let the kids do that either because kids oftentimes are oblivious to the heat. They just want to get out and play and have a good time with their friends. But you just need to keep a big thermos of water out there uh, so they can drink plenty of fluids and limit the amount of time they're outside. Storms will pop along the frontal boundary today. They could be severe here. We'll watch that. Tomorrow morning, things are going to quiet down, and we'll actually see a little bit of a cooler trend, if you can say that. Now, today, again, very, very hot. Overnight lows dropping into the 70s, but then how about tomorrow? Well, it does look a little better. Folks in Boston, Hartford, New Haven, and Providence will enjoy a little better weather. Back to normal, anyway. Still quite hot in the southeast, but 
uh, hot, hazy, lazy days of summer. This is very typical, 90s with high humidity, uh, very normal for folks in the southeast. The big uh, trend will be for warmer weather in the west. So the ridge is going to begin to build out here, and the trough is going to deepen in the east. So that's going to allow things to cool off in the east, and things are going to warm up across the west. Hey, you need some rain in New England. You're in a major drought. You will get some rain. Hopefully, you won't have more severe weather. Monday, Tuesday, a continued chance for isolated thunderstorms, and they'll probably pop in Florida, too. Now, it depends on what Chantal does, but by Tuesday and Wednesday, we might have to factor in uh, that storm. If it does continue to track northwest, somebody could certainly feel the effects of that. Well, coming up in just a couple of minutes, we'll take a close-up look at your current hot temperatures in the Northeast. An egg, a little pisquick, some milk. On a Sunday morning, it adds up to a lot more than pancakes. Nothing cleans household stains better than Clorox bleach. I just wish it were easier to use. Now it is. Introducing new Clorox Cleanup Gel. The new household cleaning gel thick with cleaners and the power of Clorox bleach that won't splash or drip. It clings to tough stains and soils, penetrating them on contact. So you just wipe them away. New Clorox Cleanup Gel. The power of Clorox bleach with no splashing or dripping. Some people dream flying in the face of convention. Others actually drive there. Find your own road. Saab. Well, here's our national radar summary. And again, storms uh, have certainly decreased in intensity in the Northeast, but what a morning. All kinds of reports of power outages, trees down, major serious storms this morning for folks in Pennsylvania, New York State. Here's a look at a close-up radar picture. I'll tell you what, these storms have certainly been severe. They rolled through Massachusetts, Connecticut, southeastern New York, and we had a report of a couple of fatalities back here in Warren County, Pennsylvania. So an awful morning. Not a good day for travel. Things have improved considerably, but it's still something we're monitoring. Let's show you. On the map today, a chance for severe storms. Uh, you're still in a very prime uh, atmosphere for afternoon storms. So we'll watch it for you. If any warnings are issued, we'll show you radars and we'll let you know about the counties involved. Well, stick around because coming up, Jim is going to check in on Tropical Storm Chantal. And I'll recap some of the hot weather. We'll check in on yesterday's record high temperatures and we'll take a look at the current heat indices. It feels like 109 outside now in New York City. For a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else, watch WeatherScope coming up after your local forecast only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
Powell continues to spin northwest of Puerto Rico while parts of the central U.S. are cooling down. The heat wave is moving to the east coast while the west coast gets picture-perfect conditions. All of this up next on Weatherscope This Morning. For a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else, this is Weatherscope This Morning. past the hour. Good uh, Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marnie Stanier and this is Jim Cantori. And uh, one top story, of course, the hot weather. We have one reporting station out of New York City showing 109 for a heat index. And on top of that, we have some new information now on our tropical storm. Yeah, I'll just share this with you since I got the paper right here. Chantal moving west-northwest mm. now. Well, and it's increased time. its speed up to, up to up to nine miles an hour. Mm. Now that that would worry me a little bit, to be quite a honest. A little bit. We don't want to alarm you. No, I'm not alarming but, uh, anybody. We're watching it closely. The fact that it's mm -hmm. speeding up uh, mm -hmm. is not good news Concerned. and moving more west of the direction. Show so. us the show us the we'll, we'll talk about Chantal in just a moment, but I do want to talk about the Northeast this morning. Speaking of mm -hmm. uh, tropical storm and hurricane type winds, I mean, you want to see some powerhouse wind. Let me show you this thunderstorm complex uh, up in New England. Tremendous, tremendous damage with this thing. Uh, it was Hamilton County, New York, which is the heart of the Adirondacks. Right up here, Jefferson, Lewis counties, Hamilton, Ca the heart of the Adirondacks up and through here, they had a 20 mile wide path where trees were just severed off at the top. I mean, just completely severed right on off. That is tremendous. We had problems in Albany. We had power outages, trees down, uh, down Berkshire County, uh, Bennington County, Vermont, uh, Brattleboro, Vermont. The storms weakened a little bit here as they got toward Worcester. And then they started to fire up again down toward Newport uh, in Rhode Island, and even a few storms moved across Long Island. And you folks in, in Suffolk County are saying, oh, thank you very much. That cooled me off in, incredibly. But look at this thing. It just rolled across New York State and New England in about two and a half hours. This thing was moving at 60 to 70 miles per hour, and it produced wind gusts anywhere from 60 to 100 miles an hour from Rome, New York, right to the coast. So uh, we're going to see some amazing video coming out of this. And unfortunately, folks, I do believe by reading the, the reports this morning out of western New York that in Warren County there were two fatalities possibly due to this severe weather event. So not good news at all. Several injuries also reported in Warren County. You can see the cells moving offshore now and you're not out of the woods yet, New England. We'll talk about that on the forecast coming up and we're also going to detail the new advisory on Chantal. That's right, we have a moving satellite picture of Chantal too that's coming up in a moment. The scorching heat wave continues to roast a large area of the country, especially in the east. In Washington, D.C., you could actually see the heat rise from crowded streets. This left tourists looking for some relief from heat under a shady tree whenever possible. The heat index was in the danger zone yesterday afternoon. It hit about 108. And guess what? It will continue today. Right now in D.C., the temperature, there you see it, 91 degrees. The heat index is 102 there. 86 currently in Chicago. You topped at 100 yesterday to tie a record in Chicago. All kinds of incredible heat. This is the hottest weather we've had to put up with in a long, long time. Heat index. Well, it looks like uh, 104 in New York City. There is one reporting station, Islip, I believe. 109. That's how it feels there. 102 currently. That's how it feels outside in uh, D.C. 90 in Atlanta, Georgia. So extreme heat today. You can just see, yesterday we had a lot of reports of uh, temperatures way over the century mark. Some of the record breakers include Flint, Michigan, an all-time record. That's what a lot of these records are all-time records. This is the hottest weather in a long, long time. Even in Vermont, where they have gorgeous conditions. Vermont and New Hampshire, they're very well known for their beautiful summers. A lot of uh, summer camps there for kids to go. It has just been incredibly hot there, too. Boston, 100 degrees yesterday, and yes, it continues today. Heat indices will climb very, very high in the danger area, so you need to slow it down and just uh, reduce your level of activity. Wear lightweight, light color clothing, and always drink a lot of water. Put a big thermos of water outside for the kids because you know that they're oblivious to this kind of weather. They just want to go out and have fun and play around, but you need to keep an eye on them and limit their time. Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
Chantal is spinning in the Atlantic and slowly moving northwest. Where is it headed? Stay with us. We'll have all the details right here on the Weather Channel. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on the Weather Channel as we check on current weather across the country. We also have the forecast for the rest of uh, your weekend and uh, take a sneak preview into the uh, upcoming work week. Let's start with the afternoon highs we had yesterday across the country. Now, you see the triple digit heat huh, from Omaha, Nebraska, 101 degrees yesterday to Chicago and Detroit, Green Bay, Boston, even 100 degrees yesterday in New York, 98. Yeah, there was definitely a heat wave to talk about. As last week, we were talking about the hottest air right in the nation's midsection, but the heat wave has started to shift east. Let's show you several records we had now. About a dozen we saw yesterday. Milwaukee, 101, even Chicago. Tied your record at 100 degrees. Burlington, Vermont, 100. Boston, 100 degrees. Binghamton, New York, 93. We wake up to temperatures this morning in the 80s. It's 87 degrees in Boston, 91 already in New York in a nation's capital, 86 in Chicago. And guess what? That's just the temperature. You factor in the humidity levels, dew points right now, a 77 degree dew point in the New York City area, 76 in the nation's capital, and look how humid and sticky and muggy it is back across Chicago with a dew point of 75. So when you talk about the temperatures and the humidity levels combined, that's when you really get a dangerous scenario. Outside activities today should be limited for sure with a heat index right now in New York of 104 degrees. It feels more like 102 in a nation's capital. So just very uncomfortable, sticky air mass. You cannot step outside and take a breath of fresh air like you can do sometimes when the humidity levels are not as high certainly when you don't have a major heat wave going on. You're in the danger zone then, the big cities across the northeast, New England, the mid-Atlantic. So if you're in New York, if you're in D.C., if you're in Philadelphia, we have some tips for you to help you withstand the heat. If you have to be out and about today, you want to slow it down, reduce your level of activity. Now, even if your activity is work or play, you want to take frequent breaks at least. Wear lightweight clothing. It is summer season, so dress for summer. Light color clothing, believe it or not, reflects the sun instead of absorbing all of the heat with darker colors. Drink plenty of liquids. Use the air conditioning as much as possible. If you don't have an air conditioner, get the fan to keep it uh, greatly ventilated anyway. Don't overexpose yourself to too much sun. That means get in the shade or go inside the mall. Go into a cool building. Great excuse to Head out to the mall, huh? <laughs> Check on the elderly also. That will be nice. And make sure that you take care of your pets. And don't let the kids get too excited because it's so sunny out. Because kids can certainly be affected by the extreme heat and humidity. You talk about at the surface big ridge of high pressure. And it's been the clockwise winds associated with this ridge of high pressure. And the prominent sinking air that's been responsible for the heat wave we've had across the nation's midsection to the east coast but it has been around the big ridge of high pressure that we've had most of the activity in terms of thunderstorms and rain showers. As you see already this morning, we have some rain showers developing along the upper coast of Texas and western Louisiana here. Had some storms and panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma back into southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. And bigger storms moved through in New England this morning. We were waking up to nature's alarm clock in central New York and western Massachusetts. Did you know early this morning we had winds in excess of 75 miles an hour? Almost thought a hurricane or a tornado was moving through. It was so blustery with these uh, very gusty winds and very powerful storms. Now the brunt of the heaviest storms have already pushed off to the southeast. They've been moving so quickly at almost 40 miles an hour, but still we have some thunderstorms around Portland and Bangor. So Interstate 95 giving you problems. You see how you're breaking apart as they move through downtown Boston. But we're getting some more thunderstorms kind of developing in the western parts of Massachusetts, in the Berkshires here. So uh, be on the lookout. Still the threat of more scattered showers and storms throughout the day today, Boston, which is good, I'd say. It'll give you some temporary relief from the heat. And of course, we've had the drought scenario in eastern Massachusetts. 
Unfortunately, these thunderstorms are just bringing very gusty winds so far this morning. We haven't had any uh, reports of any really true measurable amounts of rain except in a short period of time. We've really been dangerous with a very gusty wind. You're still out ahead of this frontal boundary though, Boston, New York, Hartford, Philly. So the heat wave continues today, but this front will continue to sag southward and there will be relief from the heat as we work our way through the next 48 hours. You see high pressure kind of nosing in out of Canada. And so tomorrow, it'll be somewhat cooler in New York and Boston and Hartford, but we'll certainly focus our attention on the frontal boundary here by tomorrow afternoon, scattering more showers and storms. It continues to slide out to the east now, so Monday and Tuesday, Boston, New York, and nation's capital, the threat of scattered showers and storms. Then we'll kind of focus our attention out west with another system kind of sliding behind it. But all in all, we talk about the first frontal boundary giving us relief from the heat that we're expecting today, as tomorrow temperatures will be in the 80s, which is seasonal for this time of year. And then we'll basically have to shift our attention to the west coast with the heat wave building here on Tuesday and Wednesday as 90s build into the interior regions of Washington and Oregon. Here's the real beauty of Rust-Oleum protective coatings. A tough barrier against the elements. Rust-Oleum. The name that means protection. An egg. A little bisquick. Some milk. On a Sunday morning, it adds up to a lot more than pancakes. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Now...
you can't always count on an easy road to success. But you can count on AT&T, because only AT&T guarantees you... Months. Men's Health... ...then get a year of Men's Health for $19.97. And get the little black book of Men's Health Secrets free with your paid subscription. forecast you can always turn to and when you're away from your television the weather channel forecast is also available from the following looking at florida now we want to see what's going on over the sunshine state it's summer season you may have a summer vacation down to florida the latest satellite picture shows fair skies for most of the peninsula the satellite uh, shows fair skies, but we have had some uh, lighter thunder showers skirting uh, along the southern Gulf Coast as they're on the heels of easterly winds, kind of rotating around that very same high-pressure system that's bringing us all the heat in uh, the plains, or should I say the Mississippi Valley and along the northeastern seaboard. Water temperatures in Florida, Panama City, about an 80-degree water temperature, 82 at uh, Daytona Beach, and Miami Beach, 84-degree water temperature. Temperatures right now, Panama City 82, Jacksonville 91, it is 89 in Clearwater, 89 in Fort Myers, West Palm Beach at 87, Orlando, well we're forecasting a high today of 93, an isolated thunderstorm possible, Miami partly cloudy with a high of 90. Is the heat wave going to last long? We'll tell you next. Saturday morning, you can spend them catching up on your sleep or catching up with your kids over a plate of Bisquick pancakes. I've learned something about mildew and musty odors. They're caused by too much moisture in the air. And I've learned how to get rid of them with Damprid. Damprid, the easy, safe, and reusable way to absorb moisture and musty odors in your home. Just pour these moisture-absorbing crystals into the Damprid container and place in problem areas such as closets, bathrooms, campers, boats, and basements. You'll see results in days. Rid your home of mildew and musty odors the easy way with Damprid. Available at fine stores everywhere. Damprid is available at fine stores everywhere. It's a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Watch the next weather scope at the top and bottom of the hour, only on the Weather Channel. Don't let the weather jeopardize your plans for success. Tune in to the five-day business plan following your local forecast right here on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
Weather Channel, the only channel on your cable dial with 24-hour weather information. We are so happy you joined us. I know you want to know how long will the heat wave last, huh? We had a slew of record highs yesterday from Chicago to Boston, well into the 100s. Well, today we'll be in the 100s, some of the big cities along the northeastern seaboard. New York, Philadelphia, you know we've been talking about the heat wave, and I bet you can pick out where the heat wave is this morning, huh? Look at uh, New England, New York, it's 96 degrees, 89 in Boston, 91 in Pittsburgh, and even Louisville, Kentucky, 91, Chicago, even 91. But when you talk about a heat wave, you don't just talk about the temperatures, you talk about humidity levels because it's the combination of the two that makes it so difficult for you and uh, hard for you if you have outdoor activities planned. We have a heat index in New York of 111 degrees this morning. So it is oppressively hot. Please don't overdo it. You want to take frequent breaks if you have to be outside today. Oh, actually, you might want to just limit or prolong your outdoor activities until later in the evening when you don't get the intense heat and humidity of the day. 102 in Chicago and a heat index of 108 degrees right now in our nation's capital. You're in the danger zone, so we advise you and we hope that you will slow it down today. That's a look at the heat wave. We'll tell you how long it's going to last coming up in just a moment. I love Hank. I hate the smell. But why use a flower recover up? That's no way to freshen the air. This is like sweeping dirt under a rug. And I'd never do that. The Glade Neutralizer with natural plant and herb extracts doesn't just cover up, it neutralizes for a natural freshness that's like opening a window. Much better. No offense, Hank. Don't just cover up, neutralize with Glade Neutralizer. Fresh from Glade, SC Johnson Wax. An egg, a little bisquick, some milk. On a Sunday morning, it adds up to a lot more than pancakes. two minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Tropical storm Chantal is spinning in the Atlantic and slowly moving northwest. Where is it headed? Stay with us. We'll have all the details right here on the Weather Channel.
ball is spinning in the Atlantic and slowly moving northwest. Where is it headed? Stay with us. We'll have all the details right here on the Weather Channel. Well, good morning to you. Thanks. See? Heat index, though, pretty unbearable, up around 110, 111 degrees from New York down to D.C. So the big cities in the east are going to roast today, no doubt about it. As we look at our latest satellite photograph, we still see our high pressure center high in the atmosphere. And with high pressure, we have sinking air. And as sinking air uh, drops lower, it heats up. And we do see compressional heating here, so very warm air mass across eastern portions of the nation centered just south of our stationary front. We did have numerous showers and storms a few hours ago early this morning that made their way through portions of eastern New York and into Massachusetts. There's uh, quite a bit of gusty winds, even some damage. Still the potential for severe weather exists possibly from New York City, Boston to Detroit, over to Madison, maybe around the Quad Cities too. Latest radar showing the most active showers and storms into portions of the plains. Still some storms in the northeast though. The heaviest of the weather now over with. The course of storms over to around Hamilton County and down to Fulton. Some of these were heavy. Even at the airport at Albany, you saw wind gusts up to 79 miles per hour. Even a 20 mile wide path of trees that were cut down by strong winds early this morning. Looking at the coastal areas of the southeast, we do see showers and storms, or the northeast. Those have now pushed their way offshore. We'll wait for additional storms to develop later today. Here's your forecast. The way it looks, maybe some cooling rain tomorrow morning around Chicago to Detroit. Maybe heavier storms lining up along our front during the day, though. Of course, where we have our front, that is where the best chance of some locally heavy rains will be. Still quite stifling from Atlanta to Dallas to Houston. It's going to start heating up in the west, and we will see a little bit of a mini heat wave develop in the west, stretching from possibly Spokane down to Boise. California, Big Valley is going to heat up, but the heat is rather typical for places like uh, Las Vegas down to Phoenix. You're normally up to around 106 degrees anyway. As we check our forecast for your Monday, this is the way it's looking. Maybe showery from Pittsburgh to Cleveland, then more storms along the northeast coast. Middle of the week, maybe a little bit of a drying trend. Coming up shortly here at the Weather Channel, we'll check out some additional forecasts. Please stand by. Oh, summer kind of makes you want to eat outside, doesn't it? Well, with Long John Silver's new Big Fish Feast, it's no picnic. It's a party! It's our famous fish and more multiplied to feed for. Legendary batter-dipped fish, fries, coleslaw, hush puppies, plus golden corn. Perfect for a tasteful family outing or an outrageous eating adventure. And it's an outstanding deal for less than three bucks a meal. Now at Long John Silver's. And hurry in for our value meals starting at a buck ninety-nine. Go fish with Long John Silver's, where America goes for fish. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. across Europe. Watch international weather coming up right after your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. This vacation break is brought to you by Gold Coast Cruise Center. Taking a family on vacation can be an easy task. Treat yourself to a fantastic vacation. Take a cruise with Gold Coast Cruise Center. 
Take a fantastic vacation, an all-inclusive cruise vacation for less than $100 a day. This includes all your meals and buffets, fantastic Broadway-style shows and entertainment, most shipboard activities, and fabulous ports of call. The Bahamas, the Mexican Riviera, the Caribbean, San Juan, and many more. With Gold Coast Cruise Center, you can save from $300 to $1,500 per cabin. Call now and we'll send you a free set of cruise brochures. 1-800-443-7447. Be sure to ask about your complimentary cruise video. It's free. That's Gold Coast Cruise Center at 1-800-443-7447. Call now. Now available from the Weather Channel, Sky on Fire, a spectacular new home video about lightning, nature's uncontrollable electrical monster. This special video is loaded with some of the most terrifying and beautiful lightning displays that have ever been recorded. And this fabulous video is only 1995. You will see lightning that is so spectacular, we're sure you'll agree you've never seen anything like it before. Terrified golfers when a lightning storm invades a golf tournament. See amazing photography from outer space. See how lightning can threaten airplanes in midair. On this exclusive home video from the Weather Channel, you will see more spectacular and unusual lightning displays than many people ever see in a lifetime. All for only $19.95. Call 1-800-431-5577 now with your credit card ready. That's 1-800-431-5577. Call now. This Good Afternoon Forecast is sponsored by Imes Dog and Cat Foods, good for life. Well, let's quickly show you radar, then we'll be off to our forecast. And what we have going on is more thunderstorms developing portions of the western Great Lakes to the plains over to the west of the Twin Cities out to around Yellow Medicine County. Some additional heavy storms. We will have to watch this portion of the nation carefully today for the possibility of additional st severe storms. Uh, developing the next couple of hours. Here's your forecast the way it looks. We'll start with late this afternoon along our front. Maybe heavy storms from the Twin Cities to around possibly Chicago and over to Detroit again. New York City, you may see additional storms, especially with your excessive heat. For your Sunday, starting off calmly, but afternoon, summertime, sunshine will cause storms to build up from the south, possibly from Dallas to Chattanooga. Locally heavy rains, too, where we will see those storms. 90s from Atlanta northward, but nearly 100 around Baltimore. Coming up shortly, our European forecast. At IMES, we know that having a cat can do wonders for a person's health and happiness. It can lower blood pressure, reduce stress, helping us lead longer, fuller lives. Well, now you can return the favor by feeding your cat IMES every day. Cats love its taste, and it's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. IMES Cat Food, good for life. From the IMES Company. As you know, it's been a tough year. In fact, our worst... forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Ah, summer kind of makes you want to eat outside, doesn't it? Well, with Long John Silver's new big fish beast, it's no picnic. It's a party! It's our famous fish and more multiplied to feed four. Legendary batter dips fish, fries, coleslaw, hush puppies, plus golden corn. Perfect for a tasteful family outing or an outrageous eating adventure. And it's an outstanding deal for less than three bucks a meal. Now at Long John Silver's. And hurry in for our value meals starting at a buck ninety-nine. Go fish with Long John Silver's, where America goes for fish. You can't rest. A soggy mess. My favorite. 
Looks like a lot of people put important stuff only in storage bags from Ziploc. That's because we put in tough, thick plastic. Wow! And the only zipper with tough, gripping teeth you can feel locked tight. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Chantal is spinning in the Atlantic and slowly moving northwest. Where is it headed? Stay with us. We'll have all the details right here on the Weather Channel. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marnie Stanier and this is Jim Cantori. And we're following three major weather stories today. We have Tropical Storm Chantal. We have severe weather in the northeast and, of course, our major heat wave, too. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just tremendously hot. Uh, we just had a guy up here from New York and he knows uh, data like you wouldn't believe and he mm -hmm. said he's never seen Central Park at 11 o'clock at 98 degrees which is a right. record high. It's a record for, for today already. Already and it's going to mm -hmm. probably be over 100 there. Mm -hmm. Unbearable heat. Yes. When will it come to an end? That's what we'll try and find out here for you and see if we can't do something about it. But remember, we are just the messengers. Let's go ahead and take a look at those current temperatures outside. Uh, very hot, as Marty and I were telling you. Ooh, 96 degrees at LaGuardia Airport. 89 in Boston. They were a little cooled off. Compliments of that squall line that moved through this morning, but they should have no problem in heating back up into the mid-90s. It'll be the front that'll move through tonight that'll cool you off once again, though. 91 in Lexington, 89 in Nash Vegas, 89 in Atlanta. Just a tremendous heat. A little cooler, though. Look at Des Moines, 74. Minneapolis, 78. Ah, Grand Island at 77 degrees. A much nicer day indeed. Check this out. The heat index just unbearable from Chicago into Cincinnati, into Pittsburgh, Cleveland, right over to New York City, where it feels like 111 right now. The squall line did move through New York, but it moved through Suffolk County and eastern Nassau County, not downtown. So that's why you're still incredibly hot up in this part of the world. Boston feels like 91, 111 Philly, 111 New York, 108 D.C. Oh, I mean, this is ugly. No matter how you slice, and I have to laugh a little bit because I want absolutely nothing to do with that. All right, now we try and change faces here a little bit. This was an unbelievable situation this morning. A huge thunderstorm complex rolled through New England. And I mean, this thing was like a freight train. Imagine, if you will, if you were at one of these beautiful campsites in the Adirondacks last night, and all of a sudden, I mean, the winds were just calm. Calm as you could ever imagine. And you started hearing something off in the distance, something like a train. Something got louder and louder and louder. And all of a sudden, before you know it, you had trees severed in Warren County, 
from about 30 feet up. I mean, just cut off like there was nothing. Tremendous squall line moved right across the Adirondacks into southern New England. A lot of the damage here from the Adirondacks through the Hudson Valley, especially the central and northern Hudson Valley. Uh, Western Matt, Berkshire County got absolutely land. I mean, there's not a tree standing in Berkshire County right now. Bennington County, Brattleboro, Vermont had uh, problems along Route 9 there. Uh, down toward Hartford, the storms did weaken a little bit, but boy, I'll tell you, this was a major severe weather event that moved through the New England states. As you can see, things are quieting down now. We still have the front laying up to the north here, and once that moves on to the south, we think it's going to cool off and end the heat wave from Boston to Albany northward, at least for today. But the problem is, there's a question here. Did this thunderstorm complex stabilize the air enough so that we will not get a severe weather outbreak this afternoon? Because if you think about it, this thing came through out ahead of the front, and with the front still sitting up here, there is still the potential for unstable air to the south of that front. So we may see some more storms start to fire. So we're not out of the woods yet. Chantal, here's the 11 o'clock advisory, 23 north, 67 9 west. It's about 340 miles to the north-northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico, so it's sitting up here. And we have seen a more westerly track, at least since the latest 5 a.m. advisory. And there you go, pressure's still the same, but it's started to increase its speed just a little bit. And that's got to concern everyone, I think, along the East Coast, because right now it's kind of racing to see how uh, quickly it can move on off toward the west. But even though it is forecast to move in a more northerly direction, if it increases its forward speed, it may not get to the influence that will move it to the north. So this is something that we're concerning ourselves with. Notice yesterday morning, we did not have a lot of shear here on the southwestern side of this, or we did have a lot of shear on the southwestern side of the system, but look at how nicer this thing is. I mean, it's getting more symmetric. It's getting more rounded in time, and we are certainly seeing some thunderstorms around the center. Now, this isn't undergoing any kind of rapid intensification but we think it is slowly strengthening, very, very slowly strengthening. You'll know when it is strengthening because the pressures will start to drop. That'll tell you that it's strengthening. If the pressure stayed 1,006, then it's not strengthening. But if they start to drop, which we think it will begin to do, we're going to have to worry here a little bit about Chantal. Now, one of the things, I mean, amazingly enough, this looks good. I mean, if you were to look at this from a tropical system and say, hey, you know, this thing looks like it could really develop here. I was talking to Matt Crowther this morning, who's one of our forecasters. You may know him as one of the storm chasers here at the Weather Channel. He was saying, Jim, you know, this thing probably took on a little bit of that upper air low. In other words, it may have lost its total tropical characteristics for at least a time being, a short time. But being the fact that this is over tremendously warm water, there should be no problem in getting those tropical characteristics back. So I do think in time the pressures will start to drop. This will deepen and eventually could become a hurricane. So we really have to concern ourselves with that. Now again, there will be a short wave or a trough dropping down over the Great Lakes, which eventually by Tuesday afternoon, there is a cold front prog to head off the East Coast. And you know, that whole troughiness in itself could, could turn this thing on off toward the north. And we hope that it goes slow enough that that happens. But if this speeds up, trough isn't deep, ridge elongates over the East Coast like, a, like an egg on its side, then there should be no problem in driving this thing west. And right now, that is the discrepancy between the two computer models. And that's going to be a big problem for us uh, in time, obviously, to figure out exactly where this is thing going. This thing is going. So keep an eye to the Weather Channel. We'll let you know if it begins to deepen and which direction it continues to take. I'll look at your forecast and weekend outlook coming up. Rosetto Pasta announces the end of Tuesday as we know it. Monday starts the week. Friday's party time. Tuesday's not even a midpoint. It's dull. Save Tuesday with the Rosetto Pasta Rescue. RPR for short. Once your family tastes Rosetto ravioli with its ricotta, pecorino, and Parmesan cheese to spice to perfection, they might actually like Tuesday because they'll get an authentic pasta dinner with the ease of boiling water. So mark your calendar. Rosetto every Tuesday. Comes around every week or so. Purchase required. Look in your freezer case. For West Coast info to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update, only on the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
purpose or what? Luckily, someone invented this new quick tight super glue with a really simple design. So, it opens easy, fixes easy, and won't clog up. Stick with something simple. New quick tight. Excuse me, did you know there's something better than Fresh Step cat litter? What? New improved Fresh Step with even more odor fighters. It neutralizes ammonia odor the leading litter won't. Like it, guys? Uh-huh. New improved Fresh Step. Every so often, the wind carries misfortune. The snowfall can paralyze. And the rain washes away dreams. But we go on, together, helping each other rebuild, helping each other dream again. Because severe weather is less frightening when you're prepared for it, we bring you the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. The world is waiting beyond the horizon. And every time you say goodbye, a new adventure begins. What will you discover when you reach your destination? What will you find when those wings bring you back to Earth? Because there are some surprises that you'd rather be prepared for, we bring you the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. The Heat Wave Alert is sponsored by Western Union, the fastest way to send money. Well, current temperatures out there are already way up there. New York City, your current reading is 91 degrees, 90, rather 96, 94 in D.C., 91 in Chicago after a record tide yesterday, 100 degrees. Let's move in here for a closer look. Look at these heat indices, 111. That's how it feels outside around Central Park where you have already shattered today's record at 11 o'clock this morning. You broke a record for the date, 98 degrees. Your heat index is 111, so extreme heat. You really need to slow it down out there today. Reduce your level of activity. Wear lightweight, light-colored clothing. Just don't spend too much time outside in this type of weather. Try and stay in the A.C. if you can. Overnight lows didn't drop very much. You only dropped to 85 in New York City. It's hard for things to cool down when the temperature only drops to 85. Your car can't cool down, your house can't. It's uh, really a, a tough situation, and the heat will continue through today, but we think some relief may be in sight by tomorrow and definitely Monday. Stay tuned. As a matter of fact, coming up in a five-day outlook, we'll check in on that chance for relief. Everybody needs money sometimes. When you need money fast, Hello, Dad. count on Western Union. We send more money to more people around the world than anyone else. Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Call Western Union at 1-800-325-6000. Your car doesn't look, doesn't feel, doesn't smell brand new anymore. The thrill is gone. Get it back with new vinyl. New Vinyl Conditions restores and protects vinyl and leather. There's no rubbing, no buffing. New Vinyl penetrates and dries in seconds. You get a protective finish and a showroom feel that's so real you can smell it. Just like a brand new car. But all that was easy. Watch New Vinyl make the seat of this junkyard car look like new. Now it's softer, more supple. Even gives these tires a showroom shine. So whether your car is really old or just feeling old, new vinyl will bring it back fast. There's only one new vinyl. It's guaranteed. Want it back? That new car feeling? It's yours with new vinyl. There's nothing like new vinyl. Available at Pep Boys, Rite Aid, True Value, Ace, Western Auto, Eckert, Walgreens, Kmart, and other leading stores. All right, we look ahead this morning, and we look ahead at what is going to be some cooling temperatures in the Northeast. Well, I tell you, you're going to be happy once this cool front gets on through. Nice little pool of 70s, too, where we saw heat indices at Green Bay and Milwaukee to 126 degrees. Ooh, I just can't. I'm sorry, folks. I'll take the 70s, period. Just, just give me the 70s. That's all I need. Into this week, though, we do see the heat in the Northwest, back into the plains, but nothing like the incredible heat wave that we have just endured. We go on in time, showers and thunderstorms rolling through the northeast. Uh, this will be a front, not a thunderstorm complex like we dealt with this morning, hopefully some beneficial rain. Also by Monday, the ridge sitting off the eastern seaboard here, the front driving its way to the east. The race in time, will this coal front get offshore and trough in the upper levels be enough to steer Chantal away? 
or will Chantel have sped up enough to affect Florida or even somewhere along the southeast coast? We're just going to have to wait. And see. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. Can you figure out the cost of a long-distance call? We haven't studied that yet. What, do I look like a mathematician? You don't need to be a math whiz to save with Sprint Sense. It's the simplest long-distance calling plan yet. Just 10 cents a minute, every evening, every night, and all weekend long. Call now for Sprint Sense and you'll get an extra bonus, up to 100 minutes for free. Okay, but what are you going to pay for a minute of long distance to someone, oh, say, 3,000 miles away? 50 to 60 cents a minute. 80 cents? No, not with Sprint Sense. All your state-to-state -state calls are just 10 cents a minute for a full 12 hours every weeknight and all weekend long. And Sprint Sense couldn't be simpler. There are no calling circles, no confusing percentages. And remember, if you call now, you'll get up to 100 minutes free. Sprint will even switch you for free. So let's review. What are you going to pay for long distance? Ten little pennies. A dime a minute. I'm talking one thin dime. Very good. Call 1-800-913-9732. National report that covers the forecast over the next five days. Watch the five day business planner coming up soon on the Weather Channel. Good morning, and what a morning for folks in the Northeast. Strong and severe storms have been firing. You still have a potential for some more severe weather. So, New York City, Boston, Hartford, New Haven. It's possible. We're watching it for you. Here's our latest radar summary, and we have a ring of fire blowing up around our area of, of, low, of high pressure. Let's show you that radar picture in motion. And again, those storms are firing all around the high, and even right under the high, a few strong and even a few, few severe cells. More on that in a minute. Over down east Maine, still a few rumblers at this hour, but things have certainly quieted down from earlier when we had a major outbreak of severe weather. We continue to get awful reports of a lot of power outages, trees down, and even some deaths. Uh, right to the southwest now of the Lexington area, some strong storms are firing, and you are under warnings for these cells. We're scrolling that information for you on your screen right now. Another regional stop quickly. We'll show you that more storms are rumbling from Minnesota to South Dakota. How long will these storms last, and what about the heat? Will you see any relief for your Sunday? You want to get out and uh, try and do some things with the family? We have an outlook for you to help you make some plans next. Black brand freezer bags? Dinner for the boss. A new record! First day for Mr. Daredevil. Seems a lot of people put important stuff only in freezer bags from Ziploc. That's because we put in tough, super thick plastic. Whoa! And the only zipper with tough, gripping teeth you can feel closing to lock out freezer burn in five perfect sizes. Our wedding day. Ziploc, it's all you need. An egg? It's a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Watch the next weather scope at the top and bottom of the hour, only on the Weather Channel. Don't let the weather jeopardize your plans for success. Tune in to the five-day business plan following your local forecast right here on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. 